What you think of when you think of angels, we're probably thinking of some, you know, silly cartoons or something like that. But the reality of angels is far greater than that. Angels are a majestic creature and a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by them in the Quran. Allah says, فَالْفَارِقَاتِ فَرْقَ By those who separate. So angels that separate, that's what this verse means according to the scholars of Tafsir. But before we get into that, do we really believe in angels? Some people may be having this question. Like in this time of scientific marble and, and technological advancement, we really believe in angels? The answer is yes, we absolutely do believe in angels. You see, science measures things which are empirical. Science cannot measure the metaphysical. Science cannot measure in a laboratory what it means to have good values or morals, or beauty. You can't measure that in a lab. How do you measure a love of a parent for their child? You can't do that in a laboratory. Now, someone may say, well, no, you can, because you see, the parents are taking money and they're spending it on the child's food, or they're taking money and they're spending it on their education or their clothing, so this is a proof that the, the parent loves the child. But are we really just going to reduce our lives to just material things, like there's nothing beyond that, that's pretty depressing. The reality is we can't measure the love that the parent has for the child. And it is something which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has just placed inside of them. So everything is not just about seeing, and the angels are from those creations. Alhamdulillah in Islam, we have never had any issue with a conflict of science or religion, and we should not fall into this trap of thinking that we have to choose one. So we absolutely do believe in the angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the angels. And in this particular verse, those who separate, what are they separating? They are separating the truth from falsehood. Al-haqq min al-baatil. That is what they are separating. They come with a remembrance. They came with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do because in that is benefit and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from doing, because in that is also benefit. Now, let's keep something in mind. I know in this age of, you know, you do you, or YOLO, and so many other uh, phrases and slogans that kind of indicate that whatever your reality is, that's perfectly fine, and you just live your life. Yes, of course, we all live our life, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a blueprint, and He said what? He said, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. He said, you are the best of nations that has been raised, but there's, this is conditional. There is a reason why. And if we don't have these conditions, then we fail to be the best of nations. Because we do what? Ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhawna anil munkar. You command to things which are good, and you forbid that which is evil. We command to things that are good like prayer. It's not a joke. It's not something we mock. It is something beneficial. We command to it. We command to telling the truth. We command to chastity. These are virtues. These are not things to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. And then we, we call to that which is good, and we also prohibit that which is evil. So that is the other part of the equation. No matter how popular some things might be in society, or it may not be, you know, the in thing. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbade it, then we as Muslims agree with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Even if we are uh, looked at as being, you know, backwards or whatever the case may be. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never keep us backwards. He will allow us to continue to go forwards towards Him and build our relationship with Him. So for us to be this best of nations, we must command what is good and we must forbid what is evil. This is the condition. So the angels came with this message to separate truth from falsehood, and it is our obligation now as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take this message and to spread it to humanity. So let us reflect deeply on who the angels are. Let us reflect on this magnificent creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and most importantly, let us take this message of calling to good and forbidding what is evil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from that wonderful and great nation. Assalamu alaikum.
Thanks for watching this video that's part of the Oaths of Allah series presented by Al-Maghrib this Ramadan. Al-Maghrib is the leader in presenting premier Islamic education in the West and we've got a lot of great ebooks as well as Ramadan resources that you can download for free at almaghrib.org forward slash gifts.